Hi guys, welcome back. Today we'll do something a bit different and focus on culture. I've compiled a short list of culture shocks my students and other people who moved to the UK have experienced. Let me know if you agree as we discuss them. I'd love to hear your opinions and maybe we'll make a part two. So coming in at number one is the peace sign. In the UK, if you turn those fingers around, the gesture takes on a new rude meaning and is known as flipping someone off or flipping the Vs. It's used to mean up yours or you. It's aggressive, so be careful not to ask for two beers or two plates. Number two. In many areas of the UK, there are still black spots. This refers to an area without a phone signal. What may surprise you is that even in London, a good phone signal or Wi-Fi connection is not guaranteed. Very few tube lines and stations allow travellers to access the internet, so make sure you Google directions before entering. Number three. British people may not be as polite as films suggest, but we still expect a certain amount of courtesy. So if you bump into someone, meaning you accidentally hit shoulders, you should say sorry. In fact, we even apologise before we make a complaint. For example, sorry, um, I think you may have overcharged me. Or, sorry, you've forgotten one of our meals. Number four, our houses are often very cold and drafty. A draft is a small cold wind indoors caused by a hole or a gap. This is because our houses are very old and often poorly insulated. That's why we love carpeted floors so much. So unfortunately, you may have to wrap up warm even when you're sitting on the sofa. This leads nicely onto number five. Travellers to the UK are often surprised by a few things in a typical house. In our bathrooms, we have two separate taps for hot and cold water. It's illegal to have plug sockets in the bathroom for safety reasons. Our homes do not have aircon, only radiators to provide warmth. And finally, as a general rule, we prefer to purchase old houses as opposed to new houses. We believe they have character, meaning unique features or history. Number six. The UK is most famous for its drinking culture and our pubs open at 11 a.m. Drinking a beer or a wine at midday during the week is very common. And unlike other European countries, we tend to drink without eating. Most pubs only sell crisps, nuts or pork scratchings to accompany your booze, so be prepared to get tipsy. Booze is an informal term for an alcoholic drink and tipsy is a descriptive term meaning a little bit drunk. Number seven. Sticking to the topic of booze, Brits tend to order drinks in rounds, meaning a person buys one drink for everyone in the group and then waits to be bought drinks in return. This is because there's no table service, so it saves time and allows people to keep socialising. You'll also notice we like to stand whilst drinking, even outside in the street, rather than sitting inside at a table. Number eight. We don't always use umbrellas. As it does rain quite often, people don't always bother to use umbrellas unless it's pouring or chucking it down. And these are informal ways to say rain heavily. If you visit the UK, you may spot a fair few Brits without a brolly or umbrella. And trust me, it's normal. Number nine. Brits like to leave work on time or even early. To do this, we sacrifice a long lunch, which is common in Europe and often purchase a meal deal 
from a supermarket rather than eating at a sit-down restaurant. This means we don't often socialise with our colleagues as much and only eat or drink with our boss on special occasions such as a Christmas party or a leaving do. A do is an informal noun meaning a casual event or a party. Number 10. Our final point can be seen throughout Europe. Smoking and vaping in the street. Unfortunately, people openly smoke in public outdoor spaces and so you and your child may inhale someone else's smoke. This is known as passive smoking. Many companies actually allow staff to have a smoke or a fag in their breaks. Fag is British slang for a cigarette. So that's my top 10. What's yours? And as I said, I'd love to hear your thoughts, so make sure you drop us a comment below. Thanks for watching.